So as the title suggests, we're going to show you the top 5 diagnostic tools for your car under £150. We'll also show you some multi-vehicle tools but these will generally come in over the £150 budget. We've personally tried and tested all of these tools, so we do believe we're in a good position to advise you of the best tools for your vehicle. Now in the description and in the pinned comment section, you'll find a link to where you can buy these tools online, and we recommend buying only through these links. This means you'll be buying from a trusted source where all tools are genuine products and you need to be aware of fake and clone units on the market, because they do exist. So let's take a look at the top 5 tools for your vehicle. So we're looking at handheld tools with integrated screens for your Mazda and Mitsubishi vehicle. And we have five kits on display here, ranging from the cheapest through to the most expensive. And I'll explain all of these kits and everything in between. Um, the description below this video, you will see the link to where you can pick up these kits, look at all of the prices. There's also an email address in there. And should you have any questions about these products, then please use that email address because they are the guys to speak to about um, whether one of these tools is suitable for your vehicle or not. So we're starting with the iCarSoft i909 kit. Um, this is a generation one scanner. It has the lead built into the scan tool uh, and the other end of the lead plugs straight into the diagnostic port of your vehicle. Ultimately, this kit will cover the main systems. So the main systems being engines, airbags, ABS, transmission, and in some cases, depending on the vehicle, it will also do other systems like air conditioning, convertible top, power steering, central locking, and, um, and some others as well. It all depends on the vehicle though. Uh, so use the email address to double check with that. Uh, so that's the i909 kit. Uh, then this is what they call a version 1.0 scan tool. Uh, this is the next generation on from this. This really does everything that this kit will do, but the software is a bit better. It also has the additional function to reset oil service reset lights. So if you've got a, a service maintenance light that you need to reset, this tool will uh, be suitable for your needs. Um, this is the newer kit to that one. I'm not really sure how many, for how many more years they'll be producing this kit. I suspect not very many. So you might want to opt straight for this one, in fact. But it's entirely up to yourself. They're both really good tools. It just depends on which one you prefer. Um, so that's the version 1.0. As I say, it does everything that this does, but it covers oil service as well. The, the cable for these kits here comes separately. So they, they're in the box, but you need to attach them, attach one end of the cable to the tool and the other end of the cable to the diagnostic port. So we move on to the iCarsoft JP version 2.0 kit. Um, this kit will do everything that these kits will do. Uh, the only difference is obviously the price. It's a little bit more expensive because it's a little bit more advanced. And the reason it's more advanced is because it covers additional systems and functions. So this kit will additionally cover the electronic parking brake. It will do injector coding, ABS brake bleeding, new battery registration, diesel particulate filter, electronic throttle control, oil service and brake service reset, and steering angle sensor calibration. So it does do more functions within those vehicles, um, but it does cost a little bit more. So it's, it's still a great tool. Also, this doesn't just cover Mitsubishi and Mazda, it also covers other Japanese models. Uh, so it'll also cover the likes of Toyota and Lexus and a few others as well. Uh, so we move on to the iCarsoft CR Pro Kit. This is my top pick. This is my recommended diagnostic tool because I feel it represents the best value for money when it comes to uh, system coverage, vehicle coverage and functionality versus the price you pay for the tool. You know, there are tools on the market where you'll pay a lot more for it, but you get a lot less functionality. This tool delivers a lot of functionality and coverage for a really, really good price. So this is my recommended pick, um, but have a look at the prices online, see what's suitable for yourself. Um, yeah, so this kit covers all manufacturers. So it doesn't just cover the, the manufacturers covered in these tools, but it covers the European manufacturers. So let's say, for example, you do have a Mazda or a Mitsubishi in your family, but you also want a tool which will cover a friend, relatives, uh, or your future cars, and if it's a BMW, Audi, Seat, Skoda, Mercedes, you know, there's lots of vehicles in that list that it can cover. It also does the American, so it does the European market, does the Asian market, 
and it does the American market like Chrysler, Chevrolet, Jeep, Dodge, you name it. But function-wise and system-wise, it does the same as this kit here. Um, then we move on to the most expensive tool, which is the Autel MD808 kit. Uh, this Autel package, well Autel are seen as the market leader when it comes to diagnostic tools. They've been around the longest and if an Autel tool says it's going to do something, then it will. Um, these will also do that, but they're just a little bit behind the Autel mark. You pay a lot more for the Autel products though. Um, th this kit covers all cars, all systems like service reset, electronic parking brake, DPF regeneration, steering angle sensor, throttle control and a few others. One thing to note though is that this kit doesn't do injector coding and it doesn't do ABS brake bleeding. And that goes back to when I talk about this kit being the best value for money. This kit does do all of those things, it covers all of those vehicles but you pay less for it. So. It's entirely up to you which tool is best for yourself, best for your needs, uh, but it, ultimately there are a lot of tools out there, which is why we're making this video, because it's quite difficult in fact sometimes uh, with such a range of kits being out there to know which, which one is best for your vehicle and your needs. But if you are still unsure, then use that email address that I've put in the description below, because those guys will help you out pretty quickly. They'll let you know which tool you should go for, depending on your specific circumstances, your needs, uh, your vehicle coverage that you want, and, and the systems within those um, within those vehicles. You know, ultimately, if all you want to do is say reset an airbag light, then there's no problem with just going with one of these two tools. But if you want an airbag light with more functionality than this tool, and if you want to reset systems and you want it to cover other vehicles as well, then look at one of these two tools. Um, so I hope you found this video informative. I hope it's maybe helped you make a decision. Um, if you do need more help, use the email address and thanks for watching.